Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to the act series. And today we're gonna take action by doing a 35 minute single side shoulder work. Okay, so we're gonna be in a standing position on all these activities, so you don't need a mat. We're gonna do one at a time. We're gonna burn out that shoulder though, so you're gonna want kind of that medium to lighter weights, but grab a sweat towel drink, and of course your great attitude. Let's get this thing erected. Okay, so hopefully you had a chance to grab your sweat towel drink and your great attitude. If so, let's get warmed up. Let's start just opening and closing that. Really kind of rotating those thumbs up and around like you're giving yourself a hug, right? This is a nice, good, big range of motion. We've got three more like this. Two more. Last one, let's hinge down. Big swings, alternate inch to side. And again, it's lots of motion. We've got three more like this. Two more. Last one, let's take those thumbs up towards the ceiling and big swings back and forward. Three more like this. Two more. Last one, all the way up and over your head like you're throwing a ball right behind you. We've got three, two, last one. Let's take that thumb forward and then that thumb down. Again, big motion. That shoulder has a lot of motions. So we wanna make sure we're working all of that. Three more like this. Two more, last one. This time we're gonna take it over. A little bit of more of that trunk and still getting that shoulder. Oh, that feels so good. Three more like this. Two more, last one. Here we go, big circle, big swing. And then let's reverse that other direction. Oh yeah, okay, other side. Forward and back, rotating that thumb, right? That, that shoulder has a lot of rotation, has a lot of motion. Three more like this, two more. Last one, okay, up and over, getting that trunk. Oh yeah, three more like this, two more. Last one, here we go, big circle. And then the other direction, big circle. Oh yeah, let's take those hands right inside those inner thighs, pull those shoulder blades out and sink them in, okay? Pull the shoulder blades out, sink them in one more time. Pull the shoulder blades out, sink that in. Press against those knees, take one hand, rotate up to the ceiling and come back. Boom, and back. Nice and controlled. Oh, it feels so good. Okay, one more time on each side. Nice, good rotation. Last one, oh yeah. Take those arms, we're gonna come down, squeeze. Press to the front, press back, and up. Nice, good squeeze, press it. Okay, you're doing some activation now, not just mobility. One more, and then we're gonna stop right here. We're gonna go internal, external rotation. Oh yeah, that's a lot of mobility right there. Two more, just like that. Oh, doesn't that feel good? Okay, let's take those hands, keep those elbows straight, and we're gonna squeeze those shoulder blades and back. Squeeze them and back. Okay, your elbows are staying straight, Action coming from those shoulder blade squeezes. Two more. Last one. Take those arms. We're gonna drive those elbows down. And you're gonna feel like you're squeezing those bottom of those shoulder blades together. And drive. We've got three more like that. Two more. Last one. Take those arms, come right behind. Open up that chest. Look over that right shoulder. Look over the left. Come back. Relax. Open that up. Tilt that head. Oh. Tilt that ear to the other side and relax. Last one, open that up. Tuck your chin in and relax. One more time, like you're gonna make a double chin and relax. Let's roll those shoulders. Let's talk about what we're gonna do. We are gonna work for 40 seconds and we're gonna do twice on each side. We're starting with the shoulder press. So I'm coming right here. Nice, good 90 degrees. I'm coming from right here up and over, one-sided. We'll do 40 seconds. We'll switch side and do the other and then twice on each side, okay? So, I'm gonna start with one weight. I'm probably gonna move it down, possibly, okay? But I'm gonna push that weight. Here we go, three, two, one. All the way up overhead, give me that full range, and then come back to that 90 degree right there. Okay, now, my knees are slightly bent, okay? They're not locked out, and I have a nice, strong core. My glutes are activated, my abs are activated. Okay, they're that strong foundation, and then that strength is coming from that shoulder. All the way up, all the way down. 
I also wanna make sure you're not jetting that head out. It's gotta stay nice and controlled. Those ears over those shoulders, okay? It changes the position of what's going on in that shoulder. We wanna keep it nice and open. We've got four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, same thing on the other side. Okay, we're gonna roll those shoulders, put in position in three, two, one, up and overhead. Control that back down, okay? After you're done with this, you might need to do a little bit lighter for second round, that's up to you. Press that all the way up overhead and come back down. Again, strong foundation. Okay, the movement is coming from the shoulder, but I've got a strong foundation and I've got my ears over my shoulders. Oh yeah. Come on, 10 more seconds, you're doing awesome. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, same thing. One more on each side. How's that sound? Okay, roll those shoulders back. Let's get in position. Here we go. In three, two, one, all the way up overhead, and then coming back down. Exhale as you go up. Inhale as you come down. Notice I'm not, I'm controlling the weight both directions, right? We control the weight, it does not control us. If it starts to control us, we need to adjust, right? As soon as we start to jet that head out, we start using those legs, right? That means we need to lower that down. 15 more seconds on this side. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Ooh. One more time on that other side, okay? Woo, roll those shoulders back. Here we go. In three, two, one. All the way up overhead. Control that down. Like I said, doesn't need to be fast, but it does have to be controlled. I'm gonna drop that weight for our next activity when we get to that. Okay, it's gonna be out to the side for a lateral raise. It's gonna be a long lever arm, so. That longer lever arm, you gotta drop that weight to control it. 15 more seconds. All the way to that buzzer. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice job. Okay, we are gonna do a nice good out to the side. Okay, your elbow is gonna be slightly bent. It's coming out to the side to that 90 degrees, okay? So I don't want it locked out, slightly bent, and you're gonna feel like you're pulling away rather than lifting. When we lift, we tend to hike. Okay, we're gonna pull that up and we're gonna keep those ears over those shoulders. Okay, so roll those shoulders back. Here we go. In three, two, one. Right out to the side and back down. Okay, again, I'm controlling that weight. Nice and controlled, down and back. Okay, I'm pulling away. Like I said, that's gonna activate that rotator cuff a little bit better, put that ball in the socket, and we're not gonna compensate with that upper trap. We're gonna have a nice, good strength lift. Yeah, 15 more seconds, and then we'll flip sides. We've got five, four, Two, one, and rest. Okay, other side. Roll those shoulders back. Three, two, one, out, and back. Again, you've got a slight bend in that elbow. You got it nice and controlled. All the way out, all the way in. Controlling it both directions. Okay, we got about 10 more seconds and then we're going back. Doing one more on each side. Like I said, really burning that out. Here we go. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, roll those shoulders back. Set yourself up for success in three, two, one, out we go, and back down. Nice and control. 
roll both directions in and out. Stay steady, 15 more seconds. All the way to that buzzer. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're gonna finish on that other side. Here we go, roll those toes back in. Three, two, one, out to that side and back in. Controlling that weight, right? Now, remember, we're not locking that arm out there. Protect that elbow, that long lever arm. Woo. Okay, we're gonna stick with that long lever arm and we're gonna do front raises after this. Okay, keep that head over the shoulder. Sometimes we can get looking out. Great, we wanna have a nice tall chest. 15 more seconds. All the way to that buzzer. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, same idea, except we're going to the front. We're gonna have our palm facing us. Okay, so it's gonna face your leg. You're gonna lift out to that front, elbow slightly bent. Okay, nice long lever arm. And again, we're not gonna hike. We're gonna pull it away and lift. And we're gonna keep those, those el um, ears over those shoulders. We're not gonna let ourselves jet out, okay? Let's roll our shoulders back. Let's get in position. Okay, here we go. In three, two, one. Up front and back down, nice and controlled. Okay, again, core is engaged, right? I have a nice solid foundation, and then I'm doing a nice good lift, and right back down. Again, if you start to feel that head jet out, you need to lower that weight. That's you compensating, okay? And it's changing the position of your shoulder. It's decreasing how much space is in there, so we have a risk of injury. Nobody wants that, so you want to make sure you're keeping that positioning, having as much open space as you can in that joint. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh, yeah. Shake that out. We got that other side, right? Okay. Roll those shoulders back. Here we go. In three, two, one, lift up. Now when we do these single sides, right, do we, do we notice one side's a little bit easier than the other? Stronger, more, mo more mobile, right? It helps us pay attention and be like, maybe I need to focus on that a little bit more. Nice and controlled. We're going up and down and again, right? We're controlling the weight. It's not controlling us. You're halfway there. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. One more time on each side. Whew. Shake that out. Right? Roll those shoulders back. Get in position. Here we go. In three, two, one. Right out front and back down. And control. Okay, again, strong core. When you have your knees slightly bent, you're gonna have a better activation of that nice strong core. When you have it locked out, you're gonna be in a poor positioning for that. Okay, so slightly bent leg, knees, out front, back down. Okay, I'm not swinging, I'm lifting and controlling, right? I'm not gonna use that momentum, it's all strength, baby. Oh yeah. It's not necessarily a real heavy weight, but that long lever arm, woo, here we go, three. Two, one, and rest. Okay, last one on the other side so we stay nice and even. Roll those shoulders back. Here we go. In three, two, one, all the way up, all the way down. Okay, get into that shoulder level and back down. Nice and controlled. Okay, we're gonna go back to out to the side, but we're gonna have our elbows bent and lift that and we're gonna be able to do more weight because that's not gonna be as long of lever arm so kind of think about maybe upping the weight a little bit compared to what you're doing right now but also know you are more fatigued so it still may be this lighter weight you just got to see what can you do that's challenging you but still stick with that form and not having those compensations here we go three 
two, one, and rest. Okay, so we're gonna have that elbow bend and we're gonna lift from that elbow out to that 90 degrees and back down. So it's just a put, like you're gonna push against that elbow right out there and back down. So like I said, not as long a lever arm so I can do a little bit more weight. Okay, are you ready? Still roll those shoulders, get yourself in that right position. Here we go, three, two, one. Right out there to the lift and back down. Okay, and it's okay if you have to go back down, right? We have been working that shoulder, so it is more fatigued. So I may only be able to do it this round and I have to go down for the second, that's okay. You're listening to your body. Sit up and back down, staying controlled. 15 more seconds, keep that head above the shoulders. It's real easy to start looking down. Okay, you wanna keep your eyes up so you keep that head up, right? Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Shake that out, we've got the other side. Oh yeah, woo, are you ready? Here we go. In three, two, one, lift out and back in. Lift and back down. Stay in control, both directions. All the way to that buzzer, 15 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one and rest one more time each direction. I can tell I'm gonna lose that form, so I'm just changing that weight. Here we go. In three, two, one. Lift it out to the side. Like I said, it's okay to drop down, right? I started, fatigued it down. Like I said, when we're working, especially when we're doing like all day shoulder work, right? You're gonna have to maybe sometimes go down because it's getting fatigued. We're using it a lot. And you wanna be able to still keep that form, yet still be challenging. Nice, good lift, and back down. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest one more on the other side. Oh yeah. Here we go. Whew. In three, two, one, let's lift, and back down. Lift in from that elbow, and control. Okay, we're gonna do a shoulder extension next. It's gonna be a long lever arm. We're gonna lift from behind. Still working that shoulder. It's also gonna add, work those triceps. Okay, and that nice, good. Woo! But you gotta finish this first. You got about 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so. You're gonna hinge forward just a little bit. Your pinky is gonna go towards the ceiling. Elbow's gonna be straight. This time I want your elbow straight, okay? And we're gonna lock it out. Just a Now, I'm not gonna swing. It's coming controlled here, pause, and back. Boom, and pause, and back. Controlling that weight up and down. I'm gonna start with one weight. You may have to go down. I know that, but I'm gonna keep that form, okay? Roll those shoulders back. Hinge forward in three, two, one. Pause and control. No swinging. What does swinging do? It makes you use momentum rather than your strength. You're not gonna get the results you're looking for, okay? Pause at the top. Nice, good control. Okay, you're gonna feel the back of those arms, right? That tricep attaches up to that shoulder and extends that shoulder. Woo. Okay, nice and controlled. You got 10 more seconds. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Guess what? We got the other side, right? Okay, pinky again up towards that ceiling. Hinge down, here we go in three, two, 
One lift and press. You can rest yourself on the other knee, right? Give yourself a little bit more stability. Keep that nice, good neutral spine. I still have my core engaged, right? Pause at the top and back down. Nice and controlled, both directions. Halfway there. Nice work, come on, you got this. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, do you need to adjust the weight? We got round two. Okay, roll those shoulders back. Hinge down. Here we go. In three, two, one. Lift and squeeze and back down. Nice and controlled. Nice, good. Squeeze and back. No swinging, control. Drop the weight if you start to swing, okay? Pause at the top, come back down. You're almost there, you got about 10 more seconds. And then we'll finish out on the other side. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Woo, shake that out, nice good little burn, right? Let's finish out on the other side, here we go. In three, two, one, lift and squeeze, and back down. Really work at not swinging and controlling. Like I said, when we get tired like this, right, it's easier to swing. Don't do it, you got this, come on. You have 15 more seconds. We're gonna work the posterior delt. I'm gonna go down just a little bit and wait for that. But let's finish here for five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Nice job. Okay, we're gonna hinge down. Okay, our palm is gonna face us, thumb in towards your center. We're gonna hinge down and we're gonna leave that pinky up and we're gonna come up to the side and back down right here, okay? And a nice good squeeze. Okay, so a nice good lift out to the side pinky up towards that ceiling. Okay, so a nice good hinge over. Okay, here we go. Roll those shoulders back in three, two, one, hinge and out. Okay, remember, we're gonna pause still at the top and control it down. Okay, really lift and down. You're controlling. I still have my core engaged, right? I'm pausing at the top. I'm controlling both directions, right? I control the weight. Come on, 10 more seconds. All the way to that buzzer. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest, switch sides, oh yeah. Woo. Okay, you ready? Here we go. In three, two, one, lift, and back down. Nice and controlled. Remember, palms facing you, thumbs towards the middle, pinkies towards the outside. Nice and controlled, pause at the top. <sighs> Keep that nice neutral spine. If you rest yourself on that knee, the other side, all right, gives you a little bit more stability. 15 more seconds, and then we're doing one more on each side. Okay, remember that you can adjust the weight as you need to. Here we go. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Let's do one more on each side, because that just sounds like fun, right? Okay, here we go. In three, two, one, lift, and control. All the way up towards that ceiling, controlling it both directions. Boom, and back. You got this. Really feel like you're lifting from the back of that arm. Boom, and back. Come on, 15 more seconds. 
All the way to that buzzer. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're gonna finish out on that other side. Are you ready? Here we go. In three, two, one, lift, and back down. Okay, we're really gonna press some um, mobility, and I'm gonna be very light in my weight because it's going to be in a more um, difficult positioning. Some of you may even be able to only do um, body weight, or you may have to even modify because you don't even have that range of motion, what we're gonna do next. Doesn't that sound exciting? Whew. Well, we gotta finish this here. Okay, but we've got 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice job. Okay, so we're gonna go out to the side and we're gonna lift up and back down, okay? So you're pressing out, okay? If you don't have that mobility, you're gonna just go right here and you're gonna work on that external rotation. If you can, you're gonna come out here. Much more unstable position, much more challenging. I'm gonna do a light weight for that, okay? So I wanna really control that. Okay, roll those shoulders back. Here we go, in three, two, one. Right here, up, and rotation, okay? So I'm keeping that head above the shoulders, okay? And I'm keeping that nice, good, tall elbow, and I'm just doing a nice, good rotation. It's okay if all you're starting with is body weight. Just getting that motion, okay? Pulling it back in and out. If you can, even, you can do it against the wall and really keep that elbow there and lift and give you that full contact. Boom, and back. Okay, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. We cut the other side. Shake that arm out, oh yeah. Roll those shoulders back, here we go. In three, two, one, coming up and back down. This is your shoulder is in the most unstable position, so this is why it's so challenging, okay? This is the hardest position your shoulder has to be in. You still wanna strengthen it so it's capable. Out and in, nice and controlled. Keeping that nice, good 90 degrees, a lifting up and back down. Okay, adjust the weight if you need to for the second set. You got 10 more seconds on this side. We've got four, three, two, one, and rest. One more on each side, how's that sound, okay? Woo, roll those shoulders back, okay? Second set on this side, here we go. Three, two, one, up and back down. Nice and controlled. Like I said, I know, it's a very challenging position. Okay, up and back down. I left out some of these challenging positions at the end, which I know we're more fatigued. Like I said, it can be just like a little soup can. It can be body weight, right? Build up from there. It's never gonna be one that you have very heavy weight on because of the stability. Not even the MLB pitchers have a lot of weight, right, when they're doing this. Come on, stay steady, you're almost there. Woo, five. Four, three, two, one, and rest. One more, let's finish the other side. So we can be even, Steven, right? Okay, here we go, roll those shoulders back. And three, two, one, let's lift that baby up and back down. Nice and controlled, both directions. All the way up and back down, controlling it. Come on, 10 more seconds. Down and up. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, this is gonna be our last activity. We are gonna do a W. So we're gonna have our elbow bent, we're gonna be hinged down, and we're gonna come in and out. So we're gonna kinda make that W from here and out, but in a hinge position right here. In and out, palm faces you, drive that elbow down to your side, 
and come out. See how I'm making a W, okay? But you're hinged down right here, in and out. Again, it's gonna be a pretty light weight. Okay, let's try this, are you ready? Here we go, three, two, one, out and in. Palm faces down, out and in. Working that shoulder, working that shoulder blade. Okay, in and out. Working that nice, good W. Controlled, again, got a nice neutral position on my back. My abs are engaged, my glutes are engaged. I've got a nice, good positioning. I'm going out and in, palm facing down. Controlling it both directions. Not kind of that diagonal. Here we go. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. So it's not forward, it's not out the side. It's kind of that diagonal in, in, and out. Okay, we got that other side. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, in. Drive that elbow all the way in, and then drive it out. Okay, and that diagonal, and back. Again, it's not gonna be a heavy weight, the way it's controlling, okay? We're using a lot of smaller muscles. We've got a lot of more unstable positions. Oh yeah, halfway there. Ten more seconds, almost there. Come on, you got it. Woo, baby. We've got five, four, three, two, one and rest, let's do one more on each side and that's all we got, okay? Woo, baby, all, here we go. In three, two, one, out, and back in. Okay, if you can, try and keep also a neutral neck, not looking up too much so that you really have that nice good positioning. Okay, you want your neck, your shoulder, okay, nice strong core engaged for a nice good neutral spine on your low back. And you're halfway there. To be feeling that a burn. Doesn't take a lot of weight to let that burn. 15 more seconds. All the way to that buzzer. You can do it. Push, push, push. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh yeah, we're gonna act by it. All comes to this. Are you ready? Finish strong. You got this. Here we go. Three, two, one in and out. Woo! Nice and controlled. This is it, baby. And we'll do a nice good stretch on that shoulder. It's gonna feel good. Mine are feeling fatigued and burnt out, which is what we wanted, right? That's how we work it, right? If it's not tired and fatigued and we didn't work enough, okay? Just gotta get that, gotta push it to get that higher level strength. 15 more seconds, you're almost there. Stay steady, stay the course. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice job, shake that out. Woo. Okay, let's pull that shoulder across. Let it kind of sink down and pull across. Exhale, give you a little bit more of a stretch. That feels so good. Okay, let's do the other side. Pull that across. Again, let that sink kind of come down, pull across, and then exhale, give me a little bit more. Okay, we're gonna take those arms, we're gonna make a nice good pull and out those shoulder blades. We work those a lot, there's stability for those shoulders, to relax it, and again, pull those shoulder blades out. Oh, that feels so good, and relax. Okay, we're gonna open up that chest, pull that all the way open. Exhale, one more time. Pull that shoulder all the way back. Can you lift? If you can't grab that, you can use your towel. Nice, good extension. Okay, now we're gonna come forward. We're gonna lift up towards the ceiling. Okay, we're gonna pull through that shoulder and give it a nice good little traction. You're gonna feel those little laterals. Okay, let's do the other side. We're gonna go right there and pull. Oh yeah, now we're gonna take that right behind her head. Just slightly against that head and open up and squeeze those shoulders back, oh, and relax one more time. Open that up, squeeze those shoulders. Take those arms down and behind. Open that up again. Let's look over that right side. And exhale. Let's look over the left side. And exhale, relax. We're gonna open that up. We're gonna tilt that ear to the shoulder. 
and exhale. We're gonna come back. We're gonna tilt that shoulder, that ear to that shoulder, and exhale. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're gonna open that up. We're gonna tuck that chin in and relax. Okay, one more time. Open that up, tuck that chin in for three, two, one. High five for rocking that way to go. Make sure you're grabbing some water, some high quality protein, and then have a reaching. Hey guys, did you love that video? Do you know this is part of a series called ACT? ACT is about action changes everything. So if you're wanting results, especially during a busy season, you've got to take action. What action steps can you take? Well, you can subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss the next workout. Also, you can become friends with me on social media so you can know what the latest things are happening. And if you're wanting really help, grab her solutions. That is a place where I do my coaching and really helping women find results. I have a free Facebook group and it accesses to the coaching that you may be needing. So take those action steps. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's be friends on social media and reach out if you need coaching. It's all about action changes everything. Have a great day.